All right, our next guest is here to talk about his brand new ABC sitcom called The Norm Show. Yes, indeed, we're speaking of Norm MacDonald, who you enjoyed for years on Saturday Night Live. And here he is, one of the funniest men on TV, Norm MacDonald. Have a seat, big guy. Hey, what's up? Watched you last night on David Letterman's show. Oh, uh, yeah, you saw that? Oh, yeah. Oh. He's a big fan of yours, isn't he? David Letterman? Yeah. yeah, he's a great man. Yeah, he loves you. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't see you last. I saw the last time you were on with him. You were, you were so hysterical. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I love you. Yes. And, of course, we all uh, remember you nice. uh, interpreting the headlines for us. Do you re still read the papers every day? The papers? No, I don't like reading the newspapers. No, huh? Yeah. So that was really a chore for you then to get ready. Yeah, to... yeah. I like reading, you know, especially now, it's boring kind of counter. They don't have any of uh, that dirty sex anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, it's uh, just dull old news. Yes. <laughs> you know, like everybody said, like, hey, I can't, you know, America's can't wait for the sex scandal to get over with so they can talk about the real issues, right? Yeah. I swear to God, Regis, Never in my life I walked into a room, two people talking about the deficit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't heard that either. No. <laughs> I've had like a couple of conversations about the deficit. I'll say to a buddy of mine, I'll go, hey, the deficit, what the hell is that anyway? <laughs> and then my buddy will go, I don't know. Oh. Well, welcome back to New York. We've had a lot, yeah. of, a lot of excitement around here over the weekend. You're, you're a big fight fan, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I love fight, fights, boxing, you know. And, uh, uh, I love, I'll tell you what I really love. You ever watch kickboxing? Yes. That's yeah. a great sport. Yeah. See it on TV. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I like that because it combines, you know, you get two. It combines the, the style and grace of boxing, right? right? Remember that? Yeah. With, uh... <laughs> well, they use their hands. Yeah, they use their boxing hands, the boxing, and it's right. a very balletic, and yes. it combines that with, uh, with kicking. Yeah. <laughs> just plain out kicking. Yeah, just kicking. <laughs> So it's really like, Ooh. it's like boxing, but again, the guy's cheating. Of basically. course he is, yeah. It's just kicking. Yeah, it's boxing not good. Cheating. It's not good at all. Yeah. They do a lot of that kickboxing now, and the, uh, and the, their ladies do it, you know? That's right. You know That's that? right. Yeah, it's really catching on. So you're working out now and stuff, right? Yeah, how about you? I don't, I worked out a couple times. I, I, <laughs> I liked it when I was young. I didn't have, you know, you didn't have to work out. You're just in good shape. Yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah. yeah. And I was in my best shape back then. I think I was in my, <laughs> seriously, when I was like, uh, when I was one. That's when I, <laughs> Reached your peak when you were one. My God, I look great. <laughs> you wouldn't know me now. You see me back then. I was young and fresh. I can imagine. I can imagine. Even for my age, I look. People would come up and go, what, are you zero? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, everybody belongs to a health club. Bernadette and I incidentally yes. go to the same club across the street. Where do you go to that? Uh, Nobu? No, the... <laughs> what is it? Nobu is a restaurant. Oh, uh, a restaurant, yeah. No, uh, the Reebok uh, Sports the Reebok, Club. The Reebok, that's the name of a shoe, right? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. a sneaker, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's got a health club there? Yeah, yeah. Now, do you belong to any health club? I don't know, man. I went to this guy, it was, a, it was right beside my house, right? It was a, uh, what do you call it, a gym? gym? Yeah. <laughs> a gym? Yeah. yeah. I don't know a lot of words, Regis, but <laughs> it was, uh, uh, and there was a trainer, you know, everybody's getting these trainers. Sure, so I, go, trainer. I say, I'll get myself a trainer, you know. And uh, so I says to the guy, I says to him, I says, I says to him, <laughs> <laughs> my dad does that when he tells a story, he says, I says too many times. You know? Yeah. Because I says to the guy, I says to him, I says, I says, I says to him, I says. So I says to the guy, I says, I don't want, I don't, I never worked out in my life, you know, I've never really exercised. I, I had weights, I got them weights once, but they were really very heavy. <laughs> you know? So uh, my mom actually, she got them for me when I was a kid for Christmas. And uh, I couldn't even get them out of the box. They came in a box like a Christmas present, and they were heavy, you know. <laughs> so anyways, I go to this uh, gym, you know, yeah. and there's this trainer, and I go, listen, buddy, don't work me out hard, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? Like, and he goes, oh, don't worry, I, I know your, uh, I know how to do it. So I'm doing this uh, where you press, the, you know, you line your back. Yeah, and you bench push press. Yeah. Bench press, yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's hard. And so the guy's like, he's counting me, right? He says, you'll do ten. One, and then eight, nine, ten, and two more! The guy said, <laughs> yeah, right? right. <laughs> and I thought, so I said, no, I did ten. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, I got all woozy, and I kept running from machine to machine. I said, oh, hey, we gotta stop. It's not for you, no. no. no and then not. I barfed. I had a huge barf. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, you're not what? supposed to eat right before. Yeah, that's yeah I ate a huge yeah. thing at Danny's right before. <laughs> 
You can eat that up for every <laughs> meal. <laughs> but that is, but that is, <laughs> now, can you so after I burp, yeah. what happened then? The guy says to me, he says, uh, take five minutes, get some juice, you know? <laughs> Like I just barfed. I just, you know, I didn't know. Maybe it was systemic. I had no idea. So I go, yeah, I'll go get me a, one of them grape drinks. You know, they had a grape drink. And then I zipped out the back and took off. And, and then uh, every day I had to avoid that gym, which is right beside me. Well, that's funny I'm stuff. I'm getting a little leg cramp yeah. just talking right now. Well, now... Now, Norm, you know, picked up, left New York. You miss New York at all? I love New York. Oh, my Lord. But you're out there in Hollywood. <laughs> he's a big shot in Hollywood now. I know he's got his own show. Executive producer. Yeah. Incidentally, I've read the credits. There are five executive producers. Yeah. Uh, I've never heard of five, Norm. You never? It's a meaningless credit. <laughs> They just like give it to you. Being... They don't get you don't get any money for it. You know, um, how do you like being the executive producer of your own show? Doesn't that well, mean you have the final say on things? Well, they said to me, they said when I started, they said, you're going to have to wear a lot of hats, you know, executive producer, you know. Mm -hmm. And I thought I, got, I would get to wear a hat. <laughs> right? Like, I enjoy wearing a nice cowboy hat. Yeah, you know? sure. It's always fun. But it, that doesn't mean that. No. It's just a thing they say. Mm -hmm. And the guys that did the Jew Carey show. This is a nice crowd, huh? <laughs> They love you too. <laughs> yeah, the Drew. The guy that did the Drew Carey show. Yeah, Drew here. Carey. I love that show. Yeah. So yeah, I love Car Maury, love Lori Metcalf too. Yeah, she's yeah. the girl that was on Roseanne. Yes. She's hysterical. You know, who Lori Metcalf is. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's working a lot now. Yeah. All right, look. Here's what we're gonna do. We'll come back. We'll talk some more tomorrow. We'll show you a clip from the new show. All right. Right back in the Tomorrow on Live, actress Elizabeth Hurley. And from Sabrina, the... Uh, an interesting thing happened. A lady up here in, in the stripe said to me, Who is this guy? I've never seen him before. He's so funny. Ah. This is her first experience with Norm MacDonald. And, and you're a hit. And you're a hit, and she loves you. That's see? great. Absolutely. That's wonderful. So you're getting a whole new audience here. Yeah. All right, let's, let's just... talk about the show. What is going to make this show different from all the other sitcoms in Hollywood? Well, nothing. It's exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> if you like all other sitcoms, you'll like this one. <laughs> you play... That's going to be different. You play huh? a kind of a hockey... You're a hockey player, right? Yeah, no, I used to be a hockey used to player. Be a hockey player. And uh, I got kicked out of the... Sp out of hockey for gambling on the sport. Uh -huh. So as a penance, I have to uh, penance. That's a means. I don't know what it means, but a guy told me making up for your sins. Making up for your sins. Right. I just learned this word the other day. Yeah. And uh, so I have to do community service as a social worker. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so I, I have to do that. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, because I'm just I'm just good at shooting pucks. Yeah, exactly. Sure. And so the, the, this is your life then after hockey, making up uh, for your for your penance. Exactly, right, my good. penance. And how did you come up with this concept? Well, is this really your show? I mean, did you think of this? No, there's this other guy, Bruce Helford. Yeah. And uh, we both came up with different ideas. Like he came up with the idea of the social work stuff, and I came up with the idea of the, uh, the call my stuff. character Norm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna make the show. That's going to make the show. The Norm Show. Yeah. <laughs> well, gee, I, I hope it's a big hit. Are you, are you excited? Are you nervous about this? Um, I'm premiering tomorrow night. Yeah, no, I'm not really. You know, I'm more uh, just I'm nervous about being on the TV right now. Are uh, you really? Yeah. But you've seen the show. You know how it ends. But this is a very sweet audience. They're good people. Yeah. Especially that lady in the... All right, well, let's take a look at a clip now. Laurie oh, Metcalf, yeah? as you Can said. Can these guys see the clip? Yeah, they'll see, see it. Sure. Oh, okay. All right, so now here you are talking with Laurie, who's yeah, a co-worker. Is, yeah, this is me and Laurie. We're a co-worker. She knows everything about social work, so she's trying to explain something to me, because I'm, I'm going out with this lady, you know, that uh, might have some problems, you know. I'm, I'm dating her. She might have some problems? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just, just want to get to this clip. All right, let's take a look at the scene from the Norm show. Basically, she dates men to make her ex-boyfriend jealous, so he'll come over and beat the crap out of them. Oh, come on, come on. I know Diane. She wouldn't do that. Norm, it is the Popeye olive oil blue dose syndrome. <laughs> keeps on flirting with Bluto, and then she screams for Popeye to come over and beat the crap out of him. You know what I love is that guy always wants a hamburger. What's his name? You're missing this. Look, 
Diane is the classic olive oil, and she's using you, Pluto, in her psychodynamic model of love, violence, and affirmation. I gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> he never paid, though, you know? You're an idiot! Funny stuff in there. Yeah, that's funny, right? Well, you know, uh, you're, you're an old comedy writer. As a matter of fact, I believe you met, probably met Laurie Metcalf on the old Roseanne show. Yeah, yeah, I wrote, used to write for that. I wrote, used to write for that Roseanne show. That yeah. was great. Yeah, sure. That was fun. Well, now, here you are, Norm, one of Hollywood's biggest stars already. What? <laughs> Don't you think? God, I wouldn't say that. I think the first there's uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Those guys. I'm in the top 5,000, though. Yeah. Well, anyway, it premieres tomorrow night uh, at AB on ABC, right after the Drew Carey show at uh, 9.30, and we hope it's a big, big hit. Yeah. Thanks very much. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Say goodbye to Bernadette. Yeah. Nice to meet you. We'll be right back with Tom Green from MTV.